How's it going guys? S and Axer and welcome back for some never winter action. And today we are doing the defend the temple skirmish. Uh, for those of you who don't know what a skirmish is, it's basically the same thing as a dungeon. Uh, except it's just no exploration and beat the crap out of monsters. So it's like way more action packed. Uh, it's really fun actually. Uh, I find it a bit more fun than dungeons. I don't know. You got that tension, tension and stuff. Well, they're easier than dungeons, I'd say. And uh, it's really fun. For those of you that don't play Neverwinter, it's a really great game. And you're really passing out on something really cool. So, yeah. Sucks for you. But, but you can like change that by going and downloading the game. And if you guys want to play with me, I'd be more than happy to play with you guys. Because I'm always looking for people to play with. Uh, because me and my friend, we wanted to start a guild. But then we don't have enough people. We need three more people, so... If any of you are interested in, like, I don't know, playing with us, feel free to post your Steam ID or Neverwinter ID shit uh, in the comments uh, section below. Uh, and I'll definitely add you. And we can all play together and be, like, a really happy family and more like a deal. But yeah, uh, <laughs> that's pretty much it. And so, yeah, so for a quick presentation of the game, it's a action RPG, as you can see. Uh, it's similar, I would say, a bit to World of Warcraft, but it's really different in the way that the combat system is, like, really action and hack and slash stuff, and I really like it. Well, I wouldn't say hack and slash, but action, definitely action RPG, and I'm really liking it, and it's really fun to play. A lot of people, the main criticism I've seen about this game it's not so much about the content or any of it. It's just about the pay to win aspect. Which is, I don't know, I guess a big problem for free to play MMOs. I mean, seeing the quality of the game, you know that they're good, they need to make some money off of it. And, of course, they're not gonna like just release this for free because they need to make benefits on it. And, yes, crap, server is not responding. And we are back, guys. Sorry for that um, little problem. I don't know what happened. First time never happens to me. And um, that was really weird. Hope it never happens again. <laughs> and yeah. So, Neverwinter is a really great game. And I know I'm sound I'm sounding like I'm trying to like sell it to you guys, but it's true. I, I really love this game. And if you guys don't check it out, I'm be really sorry for you guys. And. Yeah, I'm probably gonna make a Neverwinter series where I go through all the dungeons and the skirmishes of the game. Uh, so that this allows players who don't know the game to discover a great game. Because let's face it, it's holiday and people like us who want to play a game because that's just who we are. And that's just what we're gonna do. And uh, yeah, that's like my summer game, probably. So, ah, crit it, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's my summer game, and I know you guys are probably looking for a summer game as well. So, look no further. This game is for you, it's really great. <laughs> and so, well, back to what I was saying, I'm gonna make a, uh, a series on that. Uh, so that people who actually play the game as well can also, and if they're stuck somewhere, they can, you know, well, look at the playthrough and be like, oh, that's where I need to go. So, yeah, that's probably going to be a load of cool stuff for you guys. And um, I really enjoy playing the game, so my videos are probably going to be like me just fangirling about the game. But still, it's a really cool game. Uh, the only maybe thing I would address is that it's, it's not that easy to get Astral Diamonds. Uh, you don't get them. They don't loot from mobs, and it's the main thing. It's the money you use on the auction and the auction is where you get all this really cool stuff so it's a bit annoying of course but i mean you can't really say it's the guys it's the developers oh, they, they really need to make some money so. yeah. plus it's like a, it's a chinese company they're based in china what were you expecting i mean come on they're not gonna make free-to-play games just for the community I'm not racist against China, I'm not Chinese, so it doesn't even count what I'm saying right now, but still, it's true. 
It's just, it's not racist. It's just saying the truth. Uh, but it's probably like the same thing for all developers. A lot of free to play games have this issue. It's like, oh, it's getting away. But, but you know, people need to get their own way. I'm not gonna get this item. Uh, the thing about this game is you really need. Go! For dungeon skirmishes, pretty much all the instant stuff, uh, you need five people, and that's really annoying because sometimes you have to wait a bunch of time to find five people who will play well to join a party and that kind of sucks so that's why i really want to start a guild because i have don't know enough people in the game yet um so if you guys want to join in that would be absolutely great and then, yeah if you are new to the game i can help you guys level up or stuff like that i don't know uh that kind of shit so <laughs> definitely do tell me your steam id in the comment section and yes, I have no idea what the story. Like, I don't really pay attention to the story. But then it's an MMORPG. Who does? Come on, let's face it. No one cares about the story. It's just about killing shit and being a really cool guy with really cool gear. So, yep, that's working out pretty well. <clears throat> I'm playing the Trickster Rogue. Uh, for those of you who don't really know, it's like. <laughs> Uh, in the game, it's like the best at single target DPS, uh, apparently, and like my specialty. I'm trying to build up on crit and stuff, because I don't know, I want to finish enemies as fast as possible. I'm more of like rush into battle, stealth, uh, and well basically just rush into battle first and then think after. Uh, which actually has been working out pretty well for me right now, except in PvP. <laughs> but obviously that's normal. The PvE is really simple. Crap, get out of the red zone. Um, the PvE is like simple as hell. I mean, you, you literally cannot die. Especially if you get the companion. Uh, you can get companions which work kind of the same way as in Skyrim. And if you get a Cloric, I mean the healer as a companion. Like, there is literally no chance of you dying. The only time I died in PvE was when I went AFK. Like, I'm not- this is not a- it's not, I'm not joking. This is really the only time I died in the game. Uh, this is a skirmish, it's a bit different. Things get a bit more hardcore. Get out of the zone- yep. Uh, the dodge ability. Oh, crap, I died! Okay, let's call for help. People are nice. Ooh, this guy is close to death as well, but he's nice enough to show me up. Uh, my cleric should be around and, I don't know, help me? Okay, maybe not. Never mind. Uh, probably gonna get a really crappy score on this dungeon. I mean, like, amount of damage dealt. Because, well, one, I got disconnected, because I, I don't know. Server just didn't want me anymore and just rejected me. And two, I died. Which definitely uh, shouldn't, shouldn't have happened. Uh, and yes, let's go. Get the horse. Uh, the horses are kind of slow, and to get better mounts, you're gonna need astral diamonds. And I've seen like some really cool mounts that are like 25 million astral diamonds. And to give you like uh, an idea, per day the max you can farm is 24,000. Uh, but you can then do like you know just do auction based stuff to buy and sell shit. That can work out pretty well. Ooh, the bone golem is um, the final boss of this instance, by the way. If you guys are wondering. Um, uh, I've been like learning about the game a lot recently because I don't know. That's what I do when I start a new MMO, especially when there's like a bit of strategy involved, and I'm not that doing that well. That's how I do it. So yeah, apparently the rogue is supposed to be like in every single instance. I'm supposed to be going after the boss because that's how I'm supposed to do it. And like if I'm in trouble I should pull back to the cleric. I might do a tips and streaks video when I'm mine on a level 60 and I'm a bit better at the game. Because right now I'm kinda like the noob. Uh well been playing for like 20 to 30 hours, so kinda noobish still. Okay. Uh but still with a friend, we finish Cragmire Crypt. But like only the two of us, which is like really cool. And like after we felt just like so badass because it was really hard getting rid of the boss when you're supposed to be five players and we're all only two. Uh, because we're like, yeah, we can definitely manage 
the dungeon with only the two of us. And actually we could, but we died like uh, five times uh, for on the last guy. And we wasted like 40 potions. We just, ugh. It was, it really wasn't that easy, so I hope you guys don't have to do it, but it's a fun challenge too. Uh, so, yeah, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave it a thumbs up, and you can also tell me your c ID in the comment section below. Subscribe for more awesomeness I post on Mondays and Thursdays, and... Until the next video, which will be on Thursday, I wish you all a very nice day.